Two years ago, one of the best entertainers in the world, one of the best battle rappers in the world, Pat Stay, was killed. And people sometimes get a violent idea when they hear battle rapper, but Pat was really anything but that. He was more of a family guy. He was raising two kids. He was interested in making comedy, funny skits. He and I even did a compliment rap battle. Here's a picture of him and I riding a carousel together just to kind of illustrate his character. Just a ridiculous hilarious human being. The night that Pat had his life taken, he was at the wedding of one of his closest friends. He was lured from there to a nightclub by someone he thought he could trust to meet a man named Adam Drake. At the nightclub, which Adam Drake invests in, Pat was jumped, stabbed in the heart, continuously beaten after he was stabbed, and eventually died on the streets of Halifax, Nova Scotia. Soon the trial starts with a charge of second degree murder. And it's looking like there's a better chance that Adam Drake walks again. And why do I say again? Because allegedly this could be the fifth time that Adam Drake gets away with this. First, the alleged murder of Tyler Kaiser in 2016, where the Crown said that there was no longer a reasonable prospect of conviction. Second, the alleged murder of John Newcomb in 2012, where there were witnesses, but no one will come forward. Third, the alleged attempted murder of Brandon Anderson in 2013. Brandon Anderson later died because of complications from this case. And once again, the prosecutor said that there was no realistic prospect of conviction. Fourth, the alleged rumored murder of Ryan Neely in 2018. Ryan Neely was in the medical marijuana business. One of his stores had been firebombed earlier that year. Coincidentally, Adam Drake is also in the medical marijuana business. And now the murder of Pat Stay. And that doesn't even include the 2007 case where he stabbed four security guards, neither here nor there. And this is just the stuff that I know about. I'm just a random guy from the States. And now it seems like he's going to get away with this again from the words of the mother of Pat Stay's children. This isn't looking great. This isn't looking great because of lack of evidence. Lack of evidence for a murder that happened in a crowded nightclub with video footage. And we're lacking evidence. Inexplicably, the charge seems to be second degree murder when Pat was clearly lured to the nightclub and premeditatedly murdered. When Adam Drake made menacing comments on Pat's social media leading up to the event and privately sent him even more intimidating messages. And that's not to mention the reports that he's been acting arrogantly in the courtroom or the fact that the day after Pat Stay was murdered, Adam Drake followed the mother of Pat Stay's children on Instagram and on Facebook. Because honestly, the story gets even deeper than that. On the night that Pat was murdered, there were two plainclothes police officers at the bar where it happened. But there was no arrest made, and Pat somehow died alone on the streets of Nova Scotia, with no one there to help him, no one there to defend him. Even with this amount of evidence, it still seems that this man is likely to go free. Mainly it's because people are so scared of this man. People are not showing up to court because they're scared of this man. And it's just so ironic because if we're lacking evidence, then he might get out of jail earlier than he deserves to be. So you can't be that scared of him if you're okay with him hitting the streets sooner than he deserves. Like This is clearly a pattern of behavior, intimidation, and corruption. There are never successful prosecutions, partially because witnesses are scared. And I get why they're scared. Because people keep on getting killed. This is a post from Pat Stay's brother. Basically begging anyone to come forward who has any information on this case. Basically saying that you'll never be able to forgive yourself and Pat would never forgive you if you didn't come forward and rectify this injustice. The fact that this could happen on video in a crowded nightclub with witnesses while there were plainclothes police officers there and still nothing is happening and that there's even the potential that the person that did this can walk away is a severe miscarriage of justice. But this video is an appeal to justice, an appeal to the memory of Pat Stay, that the positivity that he put out into the world can trump whatever evil is going on here. Please share this. Please spread awareness. And if you're involved, please do what you can to honor Pat's legacy. There's video from that night, and I'll never watch it in my life. But I'm told that Pat's final words were not like this. Not like this. Please don't let it in like this. Long live Pat's day.